Two years ago, I was one of those people who threw the, the chair out of the, the hotel room um, because it stank so much of tobacco that uh, I shared with Zach, my brother. And we couldn't sleep in the room as it was. Um, I work at a university, the University of Brighton in England, and a lot of my students uh, are smoking. And they started to, to use electronic cigarettes. And I got curious, what are these things? What are they doing to these, to these people? And I researched a little bit, and I kind of got sidetracked on other subjects like genetics and genetically modified food. Um, and I sat down on a train going home one day from work, and somebody sat opposite me, and he vaped a big cloud of vapor right in my face. Poof. And it was awful. And I thought, right, I've got to find out what this stuff is. What is it doing to people? Because we are told it is perfectly safe. Now, the picture up here, it's pointing. Which one? The big one. OK. That sums it up. What's the difference between tobacco cigarettes and electronic cigarettes? Nothing. Almost nothing. There are different ways of getting the same effect of the nicotine hit. And they both poison the body in effectively the same way. OK. So let's have a look on the inside of one of these. We have a battery. It's battery operated, and you can recharge them. They used to be disposable. Can you imagine disposable electronic cigarettes? Um, there is a, a little processor that when somebody sucks, or you had to press a button originally, you suck on this. Uh, a heater, an element, is heated. It's called an, uh, uh, an atomizer that vaporizes nicotine liquid into a cloud, a vapor, and you inhale. And at the other end, a little light switched on to give you the idea, the impression that this is actually a cigarette. Okay. And the language you notice, this is from the industry. This is not from people who are opposed to this. This is the industry. LED lights up when the smoker draws on the cigarette. It's smoking. Uh, here, the user in turn inhales this to get a similar nicotine hit as a normal cigarette and a real smoking satisfaction. Okay. The industry that makes these products are calling them smoking devices. Now we call them, uh, in, in England we call it vaping, vapors, because it's a vapor. Um, but the industry doesn't do that. So that's what they look like. And th there are lots of varieties and shapes. Um, and I don't have any here. Thank God I don't smoke. When I was a, a young teenager, uh, I'll talk about the effect on children in a minute, but I was a young teenager, and somebody I really didn't like at school came up to me with a cigarette and said, do you want one? And I said, no, because I didn't like him. Now, if a friend of mine, thank God none of my friends smoke, but if they did, what would I have done? I don't know. Okay. And this is what is happening. Children are turning to electronic cigarettes rather than tobacco because they know tobacco has a bad name. They know that people get very sick from tobacco. They get cancer and they die. And they are being told that electronic cigarettes are healthy. The British government says 95% less harmful than tobacco. But they have no proof of this because they've not done any long-term studies to prove it. Okay, let's look at the brands. You'll see some of these around. Skysig and blue. Uh, Skysig, freedom to smoke. This is the manufacturer. Okay. Blue, another one. Uh, Puritane and so forth. There are lots of varieties of electronic cigarettes. Vipe, Mark 10, E-Lights. This is where I got my title from. Smoking, reinvented. The manufacturers are saying this is smoking just a different way of doing it. 
Views and Nicolites. Okay, these are the leading brands. Who owns them? Are they independent organizations? Well, no, the first two are owned by Laureade Tobacco. Imperial Tobacco, another tobacco. Vipe, British American Tobacco. Mark 10, Altria that owns Philip Morris. Altria makes Marlboro cigarettes, big tobacco. Elites, who owns them? Japan Tobacco International. Views, RJ Reynolds, tobacco. Nicolites, Philip Morris, tobacco. Big Tobacco owns electronic cigarettes. And Big Tobacco has spent the last few years publishing studies saying how bad cigarettes are, tobacco cigarettes, and that it's a really good idea if smokers take up electronic cigarettes. Why? Because they keep their market. As people become more aware that tobacco is so harmful, they think that they can go to electronic cigarettes. And the tobacco companies are saying, why don't you try them? Well, because they own them. They keep their customer. They maintain their business. Now, figures, uh, I don't have the numbers for Germany. I tried to find them, but I couldn't. So I have the UK and US. Uh, in the UK, 2014, 2.1 million vapors, those who use electronic cigarettes. And that's increased to about 3 million this year. And uh, the US, 2.5 million, which I think is a big underestimate, uh, to 9 million this year. And the world market, 3 billion US dollars. And again, I think these are underestimates to 9 billion US dollars. It's a big industry. And it's growing rapidly. Um, and one of the big problems that we have is that because children know that tobacco is dangerous, they're trying something else because they're being told that electronic cigarettes are safe. Okay. In America, just in one year, 2013 to 2014, e-cigarette use tripled amongst high school, middle school and high school students. This is a survey done by the, the American agency, the CDC, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Very serious organization. Um, they are finding that the wealthier and more educated populations in the Western world, and this is in America, but it's true elsewhere, are turning to electronic cigarettes. So the children are going there because their parents are less likely to be smokers and they believe that electronic cigarettes are safe. So they are heading in that direction. Um, that's quite alarming. In the UK, it's the same uh, about uh, for every one child that, that tries a tobacco cigarette, three are trying electronic cigarettes. Okay, and to the point where the Welsh government, who uh, conducted that survey, have really try to ban electronic cigarettes completely from their country. They haven't succeeded, but they are working towards that. OK, so that's one study. There are more. In um, 2015, a study was published in the Journal of the uh, American Medical Association. That's one of the top medical journals in the US. And it showed that electronic cigarette uptake is a trigger for children to move towards tobacco cigarettes. So when children get to ninth grade, that's about, what's that ninth grade? That's American, that's about 13, 14 years old. Um, if they've tried an electronic cigarette, they're more likely to go on and try tobacco cigarettes. And don't think that the industry doesn't know it. They, they know this more than those who are doing this research to reveal this information. The tobacco industry does its own research. It knows what it, where it needs to target its markets. It knows it needs to display these products close to schools. This is what they have done through all of their history. Um, and though this is about electronic cigarettes, I can't separate tobacco because they make electronic cigarettes. OK, so do we have any real numbers? Well, a survey was done and published in the Journal of Pediatrics 
uh, in July this year, 24% of youth, that's about uh, the average age was 17 years old, 24% have tried vaping, have tried an electronic cigarette in America. It's no different elsewhere, and uh, the UK is notoriously bad for electronic cigarette uptake. Uh, it's probably worse in England than it is in America. But those children, those youth who've tried vaping, are six times more likely to try tobacco. So it's not even 50-50, uh, six times more likely. That's a, that's a phenomenal uh, statistic, really, because why are they being driven to tobacco cigarettes after they've tried vaping? Why aren't they sticking with vaping? Well, we'll get to the contents of these products in a minute about what are they, what do they actually contain, what's in them. Okay. Um, but I wanted to read out, and I don't know if you can see on the front row, I probably can, the, this quotation. This is Public Health England. This is a government, semi-government agency that advises the uh, UK government on health policy. And, it, and in their 2016 statement on electronic cigarettes, they, they, and I quote, this is what they say, while it is preferable for young people neither to smoke nor to vape, when assessing the risks, policies should give priorities to supporting young people not to smoke. So that, to me, means that they will do nothing to stop children from taking electronic cigarettes, or they will take that as unimportant. Yes, we have to stop children smoking, and yes, smoking is dreadful, and it will be what we have to get it off this planet. We don't need it. You know, we've had it for too long. It's caused too many problems. But to say that it's okay to vape by saying it's not right to vape is wrong. Okay? This is a really dangerous situation that, that governments are getting themselves into by saying it's okay to vape. When the evidence shows that those who do take these electronic cigarettes are six times more likely to try a tobacco cigarette, and once you try, you're hooked. You're addicted. Okay. Okay, so marketing. Let's talk a little bit about marketing, because what is attracting these children to electronic cigarettes? Well, we remember, some of you may remember, <laughs> the Marlboro Man. I actually worked with one of the Marlboro Men when I worked in, uh, in Madrid. He was the Marlboro Man for Spain one of my colleagues. He looked like Keith Richard. <laughs> really awful. You know, you could tell. But the, and every single Marlboro man has died of a smoking-related disease. Five of them thus far. Okay. Um, and the last one died last year. They are rugged, they're independent. This advert was targeted at 20-something-year-olds, but it didn't attract them. It attracted the teenagers because it was rebellious. And so electronic cigarettes have effectively gone the same way. So this is an advertisement for an electronic cigarette that was advertised around my university. Are you a vape stick icon? Okay, a style icon. Sorry, it's a bit blurry. Be the face of the iconic e-cigarette and win a VIP shopping uh, spree worth 2,000 pounds. Okay. It's the same approach, and the, the Lancet, British Medical Journal, uh, the Lancet published a, an article saying we are seeing the same kind of marketing now for electronic cigarettes as we are seeing for um, tobacco. It's the same approach. Rugged individuals uh, trying to be different, rebellious, same approach, okay? Unfortunately, it gets even worse. I don't really want to show you this picture, but I think you need to see how bad the marketing gets. It's sex. They're trying to sell sex. Blue is an electronic brand of cigarette. They're trying to sell. Um, 
This is what the children are being put in front of, this being put in front of school kids. Okay, America, UK, everywhere. This kind of marketing. You go walking through this town of Ulm, you'll see tobacco advertising on billboards. And we don't see that in England because it's bad, but we see electronic cigarette advertising on billboards because it isn't bad, because it's considered to be safe, but it's wrong. I would like to show a little movie clip, if that's OK. Uh, here, I hope I can work it out. And it works OK. Let's have a look. It's on yours. Do you want to do it? OK. Thank you. Uh, that's one, that one is quite tame. I'm not going to show you the other one, which was really obscene. And these are broadcast on television. Um, and the broadcast, when most people are watching television, they're not late at night, they're on where the most popular programs are on. Be a, um, what are they called, uh, X Factor programs, be the latest pop star. That's when they advertise these products. Um, and they know what they're doing. I don't need to say any more than that. So can we go back to the slides? Is that all right? OK, that's it. OK, we'll move on. But it's marketed in other ways. So if you look around and you look at the, the glossy magazines, you'll see movie stars holding these electronic cigarettes, vaping. OK, that's Bruce Willis. It's, um, Samuel Jackson, okay, many more. Johnny Depp, the pirate. We just saw a picture of him from Paul's talk. Um, and leading actors, actresses, TV celebrities, all vaping, like they all used to smoke on TV. It's the same. Electronic cigarette marketing is tobacco marketing. There's no difference. It's the same. Well, why should it be any different? It's been made by the same companies. Okay. So, let's move on and look at some of the health effects because we are told that doesn't cause any health problems. Electronic cigarettes are safe. Now, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, bronchitis and emphysema. Uh, somebody I knew died from emphysema uh, earlier this year. It's a horrible disease to get. Your lungs simply collapse. They don't work. This is smoking, tobacco smoke, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. OK, it's a common effect of smoking. Electronic cigarettes, do they have the same effect or not? Yes, they do. A study done and published this year, the Journal of Respiratory Research, conducted at the University of Manchester, uh, found the same inflammatory markers from electronic cigarettes that cause chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, the same inflammatory markers. It's too early to tell where that leads, but they said if you smoke, you get these, you get these inflammatory markers, you get these diseases. If you take electronic cigarettes and you vape, you get these inflammatory markers and you get the same diseases. It is just the same. My brother, he's a dentist, if you didn't know. Um, he tells me that patients he treats who vape electronic cigarettes have exactly the same mouth problems as those who smoke. Ulcers, cancers, gum disease, exactly the same, except he said one thing, Electronic cigarettes seem to bring these effects, these health problems, faster than tobacco. It seemed to work faster to cause these diseases. And certainly other studies on the effects on the lungs of electronic cigarettes have found the same thing. As soon as you take your first vape, your lungs constrict immediately. Immediately. Your body knows that you're putting poisons into your body and is rebelling and saying, no, 
has exactly the same effect as smoking, and it's immediate. And this is why I get a bit angry about this subject with my, my country, because they lie so much about this. But the evidence is clear that electronic cigarettes cause disease, cause cancers. Um, they will, we will see, 20 years from now, hospitals full of people who are sick because of electronic cigarettes, unless they are, unless they are banned now. Pregnant, uh, pregnant women, pregnant mums who, who, who smoke are being told, try vaping because it won't harm your baby in the womb. But it does, unfortunately. Uh, a study done by the American Association for the Advancement of Science uh, found that the effects of smoking on the fetus is identical to that Sorry, the effects of vaping is identical to that of smoking on the child. Attention deficit order, um, mental health problems, hyperactivity, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, potentially autism. The same effects, schizophrenia, because the gene, uh, the effects of the, how the brain grows and the gene expression changes because of the chemicals in the electronic cigarettes. They have the similar effect to tobacco. Okay. So, obviously, if and, and in, I think in the UK, something like one in twelve women who are pregnant still smoke. In some areas, it's 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 worse than that. Um, and if they're being told to start vaping, then they're going to get the same effect on the child. Okay. So, obviously, those who are pregnant and who are smoking, it's the greatest opportunity to quit because you have a beautiful baby inside you. There's your opportunity to not harm this beautiful child coming. Okay. Passive vaping. There I was on the train, coughing this horrible stench out of my face and <laughs> it was clearly it was really a message like get on with what you're doing, come on, hurry up, do your research, find out what's going on. If you are around someone using e-cigarettes, you are breathing in an aerosol of exhaled nicotine, ultrafine particles, volatile organic compounds, and other toxins. This is Professor Stanton Glantz from the University College San Francisco, um, a leading researcher in tobacco and electronic cigarette health problems. And he stands up and says this is dangerous. Here in Germany, a, a wonderful institute called the Fraunhofer Institute, I don't know if you've heard of it, leading scientific and research centre, um, they conducted a similar study and found that um, passive vaping does occur. So if you're breathing in this vapour, you are effectively passive smoking and you will get the same results, unfortunately. So what's inside these electronic cigarettes. What are the ingredients? Let's go through one or two of the, uh, the content. Okay. Um, a little list. Acetylhyde. Class 1 carcinogen. So this is classified by the World Health Organization as does cause cancer. Damages DNA as well. Now I'm talking about um, parts per million or parts per billion because much of this evidence is, is un it's unclear. Um, where we have the information, I'll give it to you. Acrolyne, strongly linked as a causal factor in lung cancer. This is inside the electronic cigarette, not tobacco. It's in tobacco too, some of this. Benzene, class 1 carcinogen, proven cause of cancer. Cadmium, potentially fatal respiratory tract and kidney problems, carcinogen. Diacetyl, popcorn workers' lung disease. And you have all these wonderful flavourings like bubblegum flavour. Who, uh, as an adult, would you, would you want to have bubblegum flavour? This is targeted at children. There are 700 or more different flavours of electronic cigarettes. I could get roast beef dinner, electronic cigarette flavour. Really? Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Contents of those flavours, adulhyde, vanillin, ethyl vanillin, primary irritant of mucosal tissue, of respiratory tract, 
levels identified as a toxicological concern in electronic cigarettes, causing a change in the gene expression, causing potential disease, toxicological concern. Formaldehyde, a class one carcinogen. And this, a study was conducted in Japan uh, on multiple electronic cigarettes and they found one brand, which they refused to give the name of, had 10 times the level of formaldehyde than any tobacco cigarette they tested. Huge, huge level of formaldehyde, very toxic. A lot of these metals and, and toxins are coming from the heating element, as well as inside the, the, the nicotine and, and, and the vapor, which I'll talk about in a second as well. Uh, heavy metals, tin, silver, copper, causes depression. Okay, um, linked to various illnesses and cancers and when you vape it's the same as when you smoke. Okay. You inhale the nicotine, the nicotine has an effect on your brain, it releases dopamine in your brain and you get a high but you get the heavy metals and toxins and your body starts to go down and get moody and depressed and crashes. And so you have to reach for your next hit of nicotine. Same with electronic cigarettes, exactly the same. It works exactly the same way. H -pri uh, propylene glycol, antifreeze. Okay. Uh, the British know a lot about antifreeze because we got it in our wine once from Austria many years ago. Uh, it's poisonous. Eye, throat and airway irritation, asthma. This is what it causes. 90% of the electronic cigarette liquid is antifreeze. Propylene glycol. Do you want to ingest that? Well, inhale that. My goodness. Isoprene causes blood damage, spinal cord damage, reproductive organ failure, organ cancer. Lead, okay, for children, the effect is behavior, learning and, and learning problems, lower IQ, hyperactivity, slowed growth, hearing problems, anemia, seizures, coma, and you have too much of it, death. Okay. Obviously, uh, you'd have to consume a lot of lead to die, but over a period of time, as it accumulates in your body, it can cause death. Nickel, an electronic cigarette, causes allergic reaction, bronchitis, lung failure, kidney problems, and across a number of electronic cigarettes, anywhere between two and a hundred times higher content of nickel than found in Marlboro cigarettes. So no one wants to take up vaping as a hobby here, I guess. There's more, nicotine itself, it's extremely addictive. This is, it's as addictive as heroin, in fact, probably more so. Um, it's also deadly in liquid form. If you get pure nicotine, drop of nicotine on your, on, on your hand, it can give you a heart attack. And you can die from it, okay? Uh, because it's in a liquid, in a little capsule, unfortunately, dogs, children, Curious, they bite it, and it has led to the death of a number of pets, and also to at least one toddler died because he ate the capsule. Um, and in America, in the uh, poison centers, they have poison centers in America, they have seen a dramatic rate of increase of poisons from uh, electronic cigarette liquids in children, especially. They put it in their mouth. Toddlers put some, they put it in their mouth to taste it. What is it? Bite it, and then the liquid goes in. So it's a killer. Nitric oxide, okay, causes pulmonary inflammation, inflammation in the lungs. n nitrosorno nicotine, class one carcinogen. Toluene causes headaches, sleepiness, impairs thinking, death, damages kidneys and reproductive capabilities. Uh, it goes on. Ultrafine particles, this is from passive vaping, causes asthma, constricted arteries, heart attacks. These are the uh, toxins reported in the studies on electronic cigarettes. Um, and as I said before, I read for the list, the parts per million or parts per billion content is not being revealed. Uh, except in some cases. Some cases this content is lower than tobacco. In some cases it's higher. In some cases we just don't know. And there are probably a lot more ingredients, and since I've put these slides together, 
uh, there are, I found more toxins to add to this list um, from published papers. Okay, so the list just goes on and on. And as with tobacco, where they hid the content of, a, of a, what was in the actual tobacco, uh, all the dangerous chemicals, hundreds of them, we have the same problem with electronic cigarettes, that so we don't know what's in them. Okay, so harmful, very harmful. Okay, do they help you quit smoking? This is the next story. For those who smoke, do electronic cigarettes help smokers quit smoking? Well, is that the right question to start with? From all the language of the producers of electronic cigarettes, they say that those who use them are smoking them. So, it doesn't help people quit. This is my local pharmacy where I live in England, uh, Boots, it's a national chain. They have a smoking control section where they have uh, electronic cigarettes, right, okay? And various other things, gum and patches and so forth, okay? And they have a sign there so I thought I'd have a read of that sign and see what that said. Okay. Vipe electronic cigarettes. Vipe electronic cigarettes are an alternative to smoking, not an aid to stopping smoking. They don't help you quit. This is the manufacturer, or it's the chemist, or both. They know. Okay, so when people are told who smoke try electronic cigarettes, uh, no, it doesn't work, actually. And the statistics prove that. Now, I'm not saying that you shouldn't try and quit smoking. Of course you should if you're a smoker. But uh, going the electronic cigarette path isn't going to help you. Another survey done by the uh, US Centers for De Disease and Control in 2015 found that of the adult population, 59% of the adult electronic cigarette users population are still current smokers. So nearly two thirds still use tobacco. They use electronic cigarettes in places where they can't smoke tobacco. It's really what they're doing. 30% okay. were former smokers, so some have transitioned over, I'm not saying all of them, but 30%, okay, and 11% never smoked. So 11% of adults in America um, just started taking electronic cigarettes. The younger generation, 18 to 24 year olds, 40% of electronic cigarette users were never smokers. Now, from what we saw earlier, where we had 24% of uh, 17 year olds trying electro electronic cigarettes, it's not that much of a transition to 18 year olds where 40% were never smokers because they know that tobacco is harmful and they believe electronic cigarettes are not. Okay. And 43% were current smokers and 17% former smokers. So it doesn't help you quit if you turn to electronic cigarettes. Um, the most dangerous thing about e-cigarettes is that they keep people smoking conventional cigarettes. Okay. Professor Stanton Glantz again, commenting on uh, uh, an article he got published in The Lancet. Um, that shows electronic cigarettes reduce the likelihood of smokers quitting by 28%. They actually reduce your chances of quitting because they contain nicotine, you're addicted to nicotine, so you need the hit of nicotine. Um, it's just like smoking, but you feel like you're guilt-free, like the movie clip we saw of the, uh, the ridiculous movie clip, the advertisement of the lady saying, I am no longer guilty because I'm smoking something that doesn't smell. Okay. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Okay. So uh, I'm nearly done, so I'll finish up soon. Um, but electronic cigarettes, clearly the most important things that I've found from them is, yes, they are very toxic. Okay. I'm not even touched, scratched the surface. I mean, there's, there's a lot more studies talked about in there. Um, and there's a lot more out there that I haven't even got into yet. Um, just look at things like the American Heart Association if you want to research. They have a great policy statement on electronic cigarettes where they list over a hundred articles saying how dangerous electronic cigarettes are. Okay. 
It's a well-researched area, but the, there is a big problem, is that the governments are lying. The manufacturers are lying. They know the evidence. They have the evidence. They've conducted the studies themselves, and they lie to sell these products. They are harmful. They are addictive because they contain nicotine. So you're addicted to it, same as you are addicted to tobacco. There's no difference. You're smoking one of these, you're smoking tobacco. All right, so how do you quit? If you're a vapor, how do you quit? Well, it's the same as quitting smoking, because it's the same thing. And I'm not going to go into details, but please look on the website. There is some outstanding advice on how to quit smoking. It is exactly the same on how to quit uh, vaping. Now, this is my local hospital. I took this picture last week. Okay. Uh, we're a bit backwards in England and on the health service. Uh, but can you see that? She's lighting a cigarette for him. Can you imagine that? Hospitals around the world with people vaping because they presume it's safe. Okay. It isn't. Or hospitals filled with people who are sick because of vaping. Okay. And the, uh, the British government uh, published a, a survey where they said earlier this year that electronic cigarettes are 95% safer than tobacco. Again, they have no idea how they came to that conclusion, but they said it was groundbreaking research. Um, but the evidence points the opposite direction, that they're not that much safer. Okay? In fact, if you smoke and you vape, you are doing exactly the same thing. You are poisoning yourself and the people around you. Children vaping. Now I put this up because children are attracted to these, these things. They're curious, okay? But as parents, and I've got two children, I have to be careful. As parents, I have to be proactive and tell them that these things are the same as smoking. They know smoking's bad because they're told about that in schools, okay? But you have to also tell them vaping is the same thing as smoking. There is no difference. Who are, your, who are the friends of your children? Are they smokers? Are they vapors? I told you when somebody approached me to offer me a cigarette when I was a teenager. Okay. Are your children's friends doing the same thing? You have to be aware of these things. Um, be careful what schools are telling them. In the UK now, the policy being proposed is that vapors can vape anywhere they like in schools workplaces, they should have an area where they are permitted to vape because smoking's bad and vaping is good. This is what they're being told. And you've got classrooms of kids watching their teachers run off with their electronic cigarette things and they can see them around corners and through doors and windows vaping away. What kind of impression does that give to kids? What kind of impression does that give to anybody? You know, the governments, for me, are in, are in cahoots. I don't know if you can translate that. They're working with the tobacco industry to sell their products. All right. So engage your children in other things, sports, activities, OK? Away from these flavors. These are electronic cigarettes flavors, strawberry, mango, peach, watermelon. They're only designed to attract the younger generations. Okay, And even if they don't contain nicotine, they still contain all the other toxins. Okay, So there are some that only have flavorings but no nicotine, but they contain all the other poisons. Okay, So that's no excuse to take up this uh, vaping subject. And I don't know where we go from here, all right, but we need to tell people. So, okay, I didn't want to self-promote, but there you go. It's been done for me already. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you can't be intelligent and vape at the same time. We didn't know that until now. Now you know. Now you have an opportunity to go tell people when you see them, friends, family, hey, this isn't good for you, and here's why. And give them an opportunity to, to or show them the way how to stop doing this. Okay? Um, the more people that know, the more that we change consciousness of people, the more that we get uh, closer to becoming a completely smoke-free and a vape-free vape -free world. Okay, so I think I will finish there. Thank you. Questions?
ist ähm, das Rauchen von E-Zigaretten, ist das für den Raucher günstiger und ist das, ist das auch ein Verkaufsargument bei der Industrie? Uh, very much, yeah. Yeah, because you can get big refillable boxes. You see them walking around with a big box and a big tube that they, they, they smoke on or they vape. Yes, it is cheaper. Um, I think those refills are, one of those refills is about 30 cigarettes worth. So they're claiming it's cheaper. And in fact, you can even buy on your mobile phone, mine switched off, uh, where you can get an application that tells you how much money you save if you vape compared to tobacco. Because it's linked to the, 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 the uh, electronic cigarette, it sends a signal, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, to your phone to say, oh, you vaped, you've saved so-and-so amount of money. Well done. Yeah.